one qualifies for the teaching of Christ unless he calls him to them. And that seems contradictory. You're telling me I ought to believe, but I can't be in his teaching unless he himself has called me. I'd like us to focus on this one major word and we call it humility. Give us this analogy. As we go from school to school, there are qualification processes. And you take time to select, I want that school, I want that school. By the end of the day, unless that school calls you, you will never ever step foot in that school. And that is humbling. You have worked your entire life and you have chosen them. You have all the marks. You might be the top performing student in that previous school, but unless that school sends the calling letter, you do not go to that school. Uh, for the guy, you, you, you want to date a certain lady, you launch your CV, you throw yourself there and you're like, who can refuse me? But unless that lady comes to you and says, yes, you do not get her. Humility comes in knowing it is not you who chose them. It is not you who chooses Christ. It is Christ who chooses you. The main thing here is Christ goes up to the mountain, takes time to pray. Oh, Christ did not just pick you like roses from a field. He knew exactly which rose he was picking. And he knew this rose had thorns and he picked it anyway. See Judas, see Peter, see Thomas. He picked people who are difficult to deal with, different personalities. Will they coexist in this family uh, that I'm building? Will they love each other? Will they run away when they find out that this other person has a deformity, a, dis a disability in their, in their being, not only physically but spiritually with amputated souls? Will they run away? 